pick Tyson up from daycare, Jess has this like, she doesn't like when he stinks. So honestly, he smelled pretty bad. So first thing we did, picked him up, took him to the shower, and he did not like it. Tyson. Tyson. This was officially the biggest tattoo I was going to get. So I was a little nervous about how I would feel about it, how it was going to look. But honestly, and it wasn't even painful. There was maybe like one part close to the wrist that was painful, but all in all, super happy. The piece looks amazing. Also, these pieces take a long time. This was about a six and a half hour long tattoo with breaks and everything. So like all the acts were just kind of like me. What's up guys? I took two days off because I am with out an assistant for a little over a week. And I have one day off during the week. But again, when you my age, and I'm not gonna tell you my age. I'm not sure if I've told you guys my age on this channel, but if I haven't, I ain't about to share that shit now. So I gotta go to the dealership. Today we're getting the snow tires put on, we're getting the oil changes on, we're getting the wiper blades changed. But that appointment's not until noon. I also have souvenirs that I wanted to drop off at my old store to one of my employees. I was about to leave the house without brushing my little teeth. This is actually toothpaste. I wasn't gonna bring anything back from Korea, but I actually don't mind this toothpaste. So I've been using it, other than my regular toothpaste, which is my Sensodyne. Hey, I'm gonna drop my toothbrush. Oh man. Staple shots on the wall, brushing your teeth. So this was a part of my week where it was really frustrating because I had called Hyundai to bring my snow tires. I guess they have a process, so they didn't have the tires. So I got some other work done, but that was really, really frustrating because it felt like they were trying to blame me by saying, oh, you didn't tell us you had snow tires stored here. It was just not a good interaction. Got me my little cheesecake. I was, you know, I was like, what can I get for a snack to eat? Che or not cheesecake, red velvet cake. The weight of my heart is a little bit of cheesecake or a little bit of red velvet cake. On this lovely Saturday morning, I was actually doing some work. I was supposed to be off, but I was doing some work. One of the store managers I work with, she was willing to take some candy off my hands. So I was like, you know what? I'm going to bring it down to her because she's helped me out taking Halloween candy off, helping me sell it. So I did that. And then my buddy Pete was like, oh, can you bring me some bailing wire? So... It's an item that we need. So I took that over to him, got some lunch, had some pizza, sat down and shot the shit. So it was like a semi work day, but better than a work day. Again, thank you, Pete. Thank you, Jen, for taking the Halloween candy off my hand. And it was good to see both of them. It's always good, man, whether it's for five minutes, a couple hours. Always good people. That's what you need in your life, bro. You need good people, helpful people, funny people, good energy people, man. That's. I read a quote from Shaq the other day. On the internet it said the older you get you want certain things in life good people no negative energy and a good financial situation and he ain't fucking lying go see my little doggy i miss my little doggy i miss my little doggy oh got me a few little groceries oh man 
and it's lunchtime. Waiting for my little Uber from Burger King. I decided to go with Uber One to see how much I would save. And on the delivery fees alone and the taxes, I would save tremendous amounts of money. So we'll see if I want to keep it up. You get five months free, which is insane. So I'm gonna meet my courier. Where the hell is this guy? This guy with my damn food. Hold on. I think he's right there with the hat. I think he's in the wrong spot. Come back, buddy. My coworker Jen recommended these donuts. She's like, they're great. I love them. They are not good. They are not good at all. So I bought all this Halloween candy. Not to eat, but the granola bars there and the croissants, I did eat all yesterday to myself. And don't worry for those of you that are waiting for the vlogs from Korea, they are coming. Just give me some time. I wanna make sure that they're well edited, well thought out, just good videos, entertaining for you guys to watch. And I wanna make sure that I actually show you guys Korea the way that I saw it.